We got the new family. Um, Miss Tina, uh, over the years, uh, would say, you ain't listening to me. And I would be doing something. And I would say, yes, I am. And she would say, what did I say? Yeah, that's right. And I'd have to struggle to repeat, Jock, what she said. And that's the way worship is. Mm -hmm. uh, if you're not in tune with God when worship is going on, mm -hmm. you really won't know what he's saying. Mm -hmm. uh, worship is not the same as praise. Uh, and, and worship is as such. You can sing a song but not really be paying attention. Right. Mm -hmm. you, 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 you cannot really be in the spirit. Uh, I heard that song Sunday for the first time. And I didn't know what an AA -A was. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, -A. I, mm -hmm. didn't, I didn't know what it was. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yes. and, and I was even asking myself, but the reality is, does it really matter? You're not doing mm -hmm. all, sir. And, and to stay on something like that and miss the whole gist of the song uh -huh. is, is, is what worship is not. Mm, that's good. What worship is, is giving God attention. Because we give everything else our attention. Mm -hmm. And depending on how important it is, we give a whole lot of attention to it. Mm -hmm, that's right. And if we only get just a short time during the week to worship God, why can't we be more focused? Come on. And, and as Miss Tina would say, what did I say? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I take pride when she don't think I'm listening. Mm -hmm. And I can say everything she yeah, said, Brother right. Kevin. Okay. I said everything. <laughs> but, but it's a whole different thing, Jock. When I'm having a scuffle and, okay. yeah. and piecemeal yeah. right. what she said. Right. When it comes to the Lord, can we be locked in Come on. and make sure when he's talking to us, yeah. we're getting That's all really he's, he's saying? That's really good. Open us up in prayer. Heavenly Father, we welcome you into this atmosphere, Lord. As we step into a space of worship, Heavenly Father, we just want to hear your words and none under. Speak to us, Lord. Open up your mouth, open up our ears, Heavenly Father. Ferment our hearts to only receive you. It's your Heavenly Son, Jesus' name. Amen. 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 So, Earl, read for us. We're going to pick back up on Matthew chapter 10. We're going to read 26 all the way down to 25, and we quit at verse 24. I forgot. Pastor Keith told me. Pick up at verse 24, and then we'll roll from there. Uh, 16 to 25. Behold, I am sending you out as sheep in the midst of wolves. So be wise as serpents and innocent as doves. Beware of men, for they will deliver you over to courts and flog you in their synagogues, and you will be dragged before governors and kings for my sake to bear witness before them and the Gentiles. When they deliver you over, do not be anxious how you are to speak or what you are to say, for what, you, for what you are to say will be given to you in that hour. For it is not you who speak, but the spirit of your father speaking through you. Brother will deliver brother over to death, and the father his child, and children will rise against parents and have them put to death, and you will be hated by all for my name's sake. But the one who endures to the end will be saved. When they persecute you in one town, flee to the next. For truly I say to you, you will not have gone through all the towns of Israel before the Son of Man comes. A disciple is not above his teacher, nor a servant above his master. It is enough for the disciple to be like his teacher, and of the servant like his master. If they have called the master of the house visible, how much will they malign those of his household? Uh, Pastor Keith, I'm going to ask you to give us an example, Jock. Pastor Keith, how would you define the word oppose or opposition? Oppose or opposition? Mm -hmm. uh, I would define it as being against okay. whatever it is that is the subject. So, so, so Jock, uh, have you been opposed in your life? Oh, absolutely. I mean, the, the, the easiest thing, I played sports when I was younger. That's the easiest thing. Yeah. But if I can push a little bit further, um, there was opposition whenever um, getting into college, I joined what was called the Good News Gospel Choir. I couldn't mm -hmm. sing at all. 
So then why in the I world were you doing in the choir? at all. Because I, in my Bible it says make a joyful noise until Ooh, they I don't say know if, <laughs> I know that's what the Bible says. I don't know if that's what you was doing. No, right. But okay, okay, okay. But you know, I, was, I, was, I was in a sphere where I could at least hold a note with everybody else. I couldn't do any solos or anything. And there was a, a group of young men that was a part of this choir, a coalition, uh, that was trying to push back against me being able to join the choir. I just wanted to be able to praise the Lord in the safe So they realized space. you couldn't they sing. They realized right. I couldn't sing. And so that was some immediate opposition but through the good news gospel choir I was able to join and then I was also able to help um, start a dance team through that a step team as well through that and so God was opening doors but that was that was some opposition pastor when when, when, when it comes to the Lord you're gonna have it in the world yeah. but if you really really lock in and truly want to serve God one Satan is going to be your chief enemy and I don't mean him per se, because most of us don't deal with Satan. I just yeah. want to be clear on Absolutely. that. We deal with demons. Absolutely. We deal with individuals who serve him, not necessarily Satan himself. He ain't got time for most of us. I don't mean no disrespect, yeah. but he doesn't. He's dealing with, you know, world leaders. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. Satan, through spirits, will send people mm -hmm. who will oppose you. And in this text, there's three levels of opposition. Yeah. He's telling them they're going to experience Right here in verse 17, he talks about synagogue. That's now, good. you don't you don't expect to get beat at church. That's right. yeah. I mean, can you imagine coming to church and you get beat up Come at church? At church. And, and not because you did something, but because you're a Christian. Right. And, and yet, he's telling them, you're going to have opposition wow. in the synagogue the with the religious folk, with church folk at church. Number two, he says, you're going to have a problem with the government. Because yep. mm -hmm. in verse 17 to 19, he talks about, and you will be dragged. We talked about that last week. Oh, my goodness. You're going to be what? Dragged. Dragged before governors mm -hmm. uh, and kings. Uh, and so he's saying the, the, the government's going to have a problem with you being my true ambassador. And I'm going to be honest. If we really take a true stand on morality today and we all compromise, our, our nation is, mm -hmm. you're going to have a hard time with this country. That's right. Because morality is the norm of the day. Mm -hmm. And the government is legislating what is morality and what is not. And much of what they're saying is opposite of the Bible. Yeah. And if you're drinking that Kool-Aid, you too will fight against what the Bible says. Mm -hmm. But then the last one, he says, your own family. Mm -hmm. You mean my kids? Mm -hmm. My mama? Yeah. My dad? Possibly. What we say, Pastor Keith? Possibly. What, why is that? Because <laughs> they're against what you stand for. Yeah. And, 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 and here it is. Uh, uh, I've discovered this in our 43 years of being together and 40 years of marriage. Me and Miss Tina are aligned on 90-some percent of the things. Mm -hmm. Child rearing, pretty much aligned. Tithing, serving, uh, Bible, prayer, politics, mm -hmm. we're pretty much aligned on morality. Mm -hmm. uh, but, but if we were unequally yoked in 90-some percent, what would that marriage be like? Man, it would be a fight. <laughs> It would be a fight. Y'all be just spinning, going in circles, yeah. not getting nowhere. Yeah. We wouldn't be here. New life wouldn't be here. No, you got that right. New life would not be here. Uh, it might be somewhere else. It wouldn't be it here. Wouldn't be here, no sir. <laughs> and 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 a being aligned is important. And and as you grow in the Lord and you start reading the Word, it'll start shaping how you think. That's good. And then how you think will start dictating what you do, how you act, where you go. Well, some of that's going to be a problem mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. with people. Mm -hmm. Because some don't think dropping it like it's hot's a problem and you're a Christian. They don't think your evil being, your good being evil spoken of is a problem. So opposition will come if you truly are aligned. Now, we're not talking about misinterpreting scriptures. We're not talking about being dogmatic, being stiff-necked. No, we're talking about just striving to walk a life that's pleasing to God. That's good. Mm -hmm. That alone that will cause you some... Opposition. Opposition. Any comments before we press? No, no, you're right on point there, Pastor. Just by nature of who we are in Christ yeah. is against the grain of the world. So that's the opposition that we face. And it boils down to two things. Typically, it's fear and worry. Fear mm -hmm. that, that, that you may hinder or stop my program and worry, worry you may have sort of influence. Mm -hmm. The world does not want the church having too much what? Influence. Influence. Mm -hmm. That's right. No, you bringing that God stuff when wanting to pray in schools? Right. You, 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 you want to legislate morality to people? Right, right. No, I'm not trying to legislate. I'm just telling you God's going to hold you accountable as his creation if you don't. There was, a, there was a young article I was reading in the paper, and I'm ready to go here, so just roll with me. This may stir up something. And I was reading about a, a, a young guy that's going to be participating 
in a uh, DC comic. He's a lead character. Okay. And he's been getting in a lot of trouble. So I, I never heard of the guy. So I'm starting to read. I went to Wikipedia. That's my favorite source today. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And when they was describing him, they said they mm -hmm. and them. And I was like, what in the, Who's what in the, them? we only talking about one person. And, 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 and as I kept reading, they used the word they and them about six times. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then I realized they were talking about him. Yeah. But as I read on, it said he doesn't identify as he or she. Mm -hmm. He's a they or them. He's a they or a them. Mm -hmm. and, 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 I, and I know that's out there, mm -hmm. but I was stunned that Wikipedia is describing this person as a they. Right. When I use the word they, it's typically not tied to sexual orientation. Well, one person. But our whole society is now saying you really can be more than one person. Mm. Wow. But because, hey, that's dangerous. Wow. Because at some point the murderer is going to say, well, you letting everyone else have a them and a they. Okay. Then I ought to be able to tell you that when I commit this murder, I was them, not they. <laughs> I mean, and, and if I want to be with a kid, wow. then that's, that's the them. See, you see where we're going? We're opening up all kinds of doors, but they is not a single, at least in the school that I was raised in, they was more than one right. person. Them was more than one person. Mm -hmm. But today our country is saying you can pick and choose who you want to be. Mm -hmm. Well, what if I want to be white like Miss Linda? Mm -hmm. What if I don't want to be black? What, Pastor Keith, I'm, I'm not... It's going to be hard to pull off, Doc. Yeah, but, 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 but I'm just telling you that you need to identify me. As, so so you, you're saying I can say it, but... Yeah, yeah you can say it, but yeah, yeah, they're going to yeah, look at you and be like, no. Yeah, but, 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 but if I'm a man, I say I'm a woman... You act like it, too. Yeah, so, so I need to change my... I need to change my... Got to bleach it. I, I, I can't use gospel. I, I mean, uh, Ebonics. No, 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 no. no, no. Bleach my skin. Will, yeah, will that help? Yeah, 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 that might. Okay. So, Pastor, let me ask you this. What is the difference between um, spiritual friction and fleshly friction? Because if we took a look from the other side of the spectrum, That's good. The, um, the Pharisees would say, you're causing me friction. Yes. So, so what, what they, would... They would, and what they're saying is, we're not aligned with God. Mm. And here's the thing with the flesh. The flesh private agenda, you got to hear me now, mine and yours, at the end is to be equal to God. Mm -hmm. That's good. That's and, good. and so when spiritual friction is there, uh, my spirit is saying you need to tone that down mm -hmm. and apologize. You need to let that go. You need to walk in humility. You need to submit. Mm -hmm. You need to. But when the flesh, that's really good. I'm, I'm equal mm -hmm. and I dictate when and if I mm -hmm. tone it down mm -hmm. and, and what I say, I can say what I want. Right. I can go where I want. I can do. Dude. I can be. Who I want to be. Right, right. So, so the flesh does not yield to the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. The mm -hmm. flesh governs and does what it wants. If I want to slap my wife, Pastor Keith, I just go back and slap her. Because mm -hmm. that was them and they. That wasn't me. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Oh, I'm, I'm getting some laughter in the house, y'all. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think they said that might be hard to pull that, off. That, that may be hard to pull off. Well, I think it may be hard to pull off, Pastor Keith. <laughs> she said, what they, they saying is. Uh, saying they won't get away with that. Man. <laughs> They, hey, they won't. None they, of y'all. <laughs> they, they, won't, they won't get okay. away with none it. None of them. No, no, that's a good chance, though. Y'all don't know her. She hey, might slap me back. Jane's going to have to take an account for that. <laughs> or, or I may want her going to jail. Right, right. Because cause she's right. concerned that if she lets right. stuff go this crazy, I'm going to keep doing it. Uh -huh. So she's a proponent yeah. of shutting stuff down before right. it begins. Uh, wow. <laughs> so, right. so they may go to jail. <laughs> but in the text, he's saying... That if you disagree with stuff like that in our society today, Come on. you could get persecution. Yes, sir. And you would be called or told you're not loving mm. and you're not tolerant. Yeah. Well, I can't disagree. Well, the answer is no from the Pharisees' perspective. Mm -hmm. The Pharisees want you to do what they want you to do the way they want you to do it. Mm -hmm. And to go otherwise, Jesus says, will cause you some Opposition. persecution. Or read, read for us verse 24 and 25 as he sets us up to have an expectation. A disciple is not above his teacher, nor a servant above his master. It is enough for the disciple to be like his teacher 
and the servant like his master. If they have called the master of the house Beelzebul, how much more will they malign those of his household? So he's saying if they call the master of the house Beelzebub or a demon or a spirit or lord of the, I mean, whatever they're calling him, says how much more will they come against you? Right. And, and, and you and I need to understand our American culture is moving so fast that, that, that you and I, if we're not careful, we will be aligned. He said how much more will they malign those of his household. And it's going to be pressure as we grow That's good. to say prayer ought to be in school. But what does the world say? Nah. Hmm. Well, the, the world says it's not a baby uh, uh, because we call it a fetus. Mm -hmm. and, and even though grandmama and them, them went, and, went and bought some clothes, hmm. it ain't really a baby until you have it. Right. So, so in the womb, the, the world gets to dictate if it is or is not a baby. Some, some when they find us a boy, it's start painting the room blue. But right. the world can say, no, that's not really a boy. That's a day. Mm -hmm. Y'all hear what I'm saying? No, our society is moving so fast. Because at the end of the day, I don't want no one to tell me what. What you want to do. And if I can minimize this God factor and I can become equal with him, then I get to decide what's right for me and what's wrong for me. And because if I'm, if I'm equal to God, then we're peers, we're boys. And, and he could be wrong on some things. And so since he could be wrong, because I'm wrong sometimes, as his equal, I get to decide. I get to correct some of his mistakes. That's where we are today. And family, that's dangerous. When God, when God confounded the languages in Genesis chapter 6 regarding a tower called Babel, they were building this thing to heaven. And he said, I'm about to go down there and deal with them. Right. He's got they're on one accord, and, 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 and there is nothing that will be what? Impossible from them to do. And, and as we're aligned in unrighteousness, who knows what we're capable of doing? Any comments? Oh, apparently, we're capable even of murder. <laughs> yeah. Cain and Abel. They, he wasn't uh, properly aligned. And I, I asked the question to NB, we researched, why did God not allow people to come together to be powerful. If we were made in his image and made to be in unity, it was because of pride. It was the wrong power. It was the wrong type yeah. of power. Yeah. And it so was. you can you can do the right things for the wrong reasons. Yeah. That's what we concluded too. So yeah. And they was they was they was going up to him. Right. Uh but because that, that's equal. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And I, I'm not waiting on you to come to me. I'm gonna dictate this day. Mm -hmm. We're gonna go up to you. Mm, no, there good. is a spirit of pride that's, really good. that's in America. And I'm going to be honest, many leaders in the world are angry with us of trying to legislate our morality on them. No, they're, they're, they're having a problem with us. How are you going to tell me what, 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 what's right and wrong when you don't even have a standard? Mm. And it's going to create a major problem, family, as we grow over the next three to five years, even from a war perspective. That's just a military man's pre, uh, perspective. Or read us 26 to 33. That's good. So, have no fear of them, for nothing is covered that will not be revealed or hidden that will not be known. What I tell you in the dark, say in the light, and what you hear whispered, proclaim on the housetops. And do not fear those who kill the body, but cannot kill the soul. Rather, fear him who can destroy both body and soul in hell. Are not two sparrows sold for a penny? And not one of them will fall to the ground and apart from your father. But even the hairs of your head are all numbered. Fear not, therefore, you are of more value than many sparrows. So everyone who acknowledges me before men, I also will acknowledge before my father who is in heaven. But whoever denies me before men, I also will deny before my father who is in heaven. Aren't we living in this time when you dare not speak up? Or you dare not speak out. And we have to go along to what we call get along. Uh, 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 but he says this, whoever denies me before men, I will also deny before my father who's in heaven. He points out the one word that's mentioned four times in this text. And it's F-E-A-R. 
Fear will cause us to compromise on who we are. Fear will cause us not to, not to let people know we are Christian in a carnal environment. Fear will cause us not to want to pray. Here is one that's common in our country today. It's small to some, but I don't think it is. It's, it's being comfortable in a group of unsaved people having dinner and you bow and pray for your food. Mm -hmm. be, 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 because depending on who it is, view, you're going to stand out a little bit because mm -hmm. less and less people a day are bowing, even Christians, when it comes to eating a meal. And even to that per, even to that point, some of our uh, teens, I asked them, you, do you pray over your lunch? Yeah, but with my eyes open. Ah, <laughs> that's you're not acknowledging you're you're not acknowledging God in front of everybody else. But there is pressure. There's Come on, pressure. That, that's, that's real. A lot of pressure. Oh, there's so much. Pressure. That there is real, and that's what he's saying. Notice this now. I want you to get this. Verse twenty six. He says, "So so have no fear of them." Right. That's good. Then he drops down to verse twenty eight and says, "Do not what." Fear those. And, and then he comes back and says, rather fear him who can destroy both body and soul in hell. And then he drops down again, family, and uses that word one more time. And it's in verse 31. Read verse 31, uh, Ja. Yes, sir. So don't be afraid, for you are more valuable to God than a whole flock of sparrows. He's saying the pressure of the world is going to be so great. He's talking, remember he's talking to his disciples. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And he's telling them, y'all are going to be afraid. And we know one named Peter says, that ain't never going to happen to me. Good. Well, guess what Peter gave into? He out. Fear. Fear. And guess what we, if we're not careful, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. will give into? Yes, that's right. And if you are parents, you need to tell your kids, baby, one of the greatest challenges today is, giving, is not giving into fear. Mm -hmm. Because you're right. If you're in a cafeteria of a couple hundred people mm -hmm. and everybody's talking and carrying on, and then you, this church girl over here, yeah. bound before your food, and everybody gonna know. Standing out. You stand out. And kids don't want to stand out. Not like that. Stand out. And Christians, even adults, sometimes don't want to stand out. So we need courage, family, mm. to face the things the world is throwing at us. Mm. Here it is now. I'm, I'm gonna be honest, it's on the books right now. There is legislation on the books to marry a tree. And to marry an animal and for couples, two men, one woman, three women, one man to marry because there is other legislation that's already been passed. Right. And so not that not not Pandora's box is open. Then were well, you letting and you letting and you allowing and you allowing. Yeah. And I'm in love with my animal mm. and I just want to be with him legally. Mm. 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 And see, see, we're saying, wow, but see, 10 years ago, what well, 30 years ago, we said that about everything. Now we're being so stretched. And then after a while, there's a thing called NAMBLA, North American Boy Association. Look it up. Where in some states, you can be with, you can marry a 12-year-old. Mm. Got to be allowed by parents. Oh, wow. But they want to push it to 10. Mm, come on. Or right now, NAMBLA, look it up. North American Man Boy Association. Look it up. You can be with a child. So, so, so I'm, our country is moving and you dare not question me if I'm married to a 12-year-old. I got the papers that say it's legal. Shut your mouth. Now, we say that's not, yes, sir. Well, well, it, 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 the principles are there uh, uh, in the Jefferson Monument, there's scripture, but the application of the scriptures has been lacking. And that's what happens when you start bending the scriptures, man of God, like you said, and start making them to fit what we want. But, but did not God say to Eve, he, did, he, he didn't surely say right. Right. you right. could eat. Right. No, no, no. Satan will always add some little, because if I want to do something, all I need is justification. I mean, back, back, back in the day, uh, old school men would say, if you pick a fight with her, it justify you leaving her. Or go on, I stand all night, and you use her as an excuse. Can we talk? Yeah. Just, just, just pick a fight. Wow. Come on now. Wow. And, 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 and many, many, many will pick a fight if they want to do something. Because mm. the fight's that distraction you needed to leave to go do what you really wanted to right, do. Right. Come on, can we talk? Right. So the flesh, when it wants something, if it wants it bad enough, mm. it'll find a way. Wow. 
Any comments, Pastor Keith? Pastor yeah, Keith? yeah, Pastor. Going back to that verse 24, because it kind of boxes us in from that kind of thinking. It, I love the way he uses the word disciple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And not My, just believer or a yeah, Christian. Yeah. Right. Because That's he good. says the disciple here who's acting like yeah. him, the teacher, yeah. will face this. So we can go to church, but not really be a disciple. That's true. Exactly. That's true. Exactly. Any comments? Just wear the jersey, sit in the stand. What, what does that mean? Uh, we're not a players, active players in the game. Mm -hmm. But we don't oh, mind. We're fans. Oh, oh so we have the fans. jersey on in yes. the, in the, yes, sir. Right in the stadium. Yes, sir. Cheering, mm -hmm. but we won't go down there and mm -hmm. get in the game. Mm -mm. But I'm a spectator, Earl. I'm wearing, and I'm, I'm wearing the jersey. That's it. But I won't. Yes, so, so, so there's a whole lot of jerseys saying Jesus yeah. out there, yes, sir. up in the stands. Yes, sir. Yeah. But we won't, yeah. we won't come down. Yeah. Come so down. when the believer is not acting like the teacher, hmm. not applying the principles of the teacher wow. in the teachings, then this happens. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, as you said, they can just get lost in the crowd. So, so the Bible said there's a, they have a form of godliness. But right. denying. That's it. That's it. But denying. Yes, sir. That's it. The power of who he is. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Your, your hand raised. Rob, grab the mic, sir. So, 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 looking like him and being him is not two the same things, thing, y'all. Different things. Yes, sir. It's, it's, it's two different things. And today, many people are going to church, but there, I said it said there's no power. Mm -hmm. And oftentimes, there is not much difference between us and the world. world, but we do have the jersey on. Yes, sir. But oh, we ain't man. in the gym exercising like the players. Right. We're not going through the strenuous. <laughs> not at all. That's, out in the that's sun. That's good. That's good. Here it is. The players, football right now, if it's 100 degrees and you're yes, a football sir. player in you're Texas, you out there on the field. On the field. Mm -hmm. But the fans got an umbrella. Hello. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Underneath the bleachers. Yeah. Underneath the bleachers. Yeah, yeah. Yes, Cushion and, seats. And complaining about. With a about, fan blowing on them. With a fan blowing on them. <laughs> yeah. and, and, and so the average yeah. Christian, yeah. But they complaining but won't. Get in the game. No, there is a difference between being a disciple mm -hmm. and a person who, you know, mm -hmm. because because you 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 can be a husband and not be responsible. Right. Yeah, that's true. You, you can be a dad mm -hmm. and ain't paid nan a bill to help a child. Mm -hmm. I know nan's not good English. I'm from Mississippi, y'all. So excuse my vernacular sometimes. Mm -hmm. You know, that's how we roll. We we say nan. Yeah. Uh, just in case you 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 have a child, but you've not made any commitment. Come on. To pay. Anything, not even socks, yeah. underwear, a t-shirt. Come on. And yet you are a parent. Right. So you can be and not do. Yes, sir. God wants us to be and do. And do. Yes. That's good. Any, any comments? Yeah. No, no. So he tells us in, in this section, he says, I don't want y'all to be afraid. You need to manage your fear. Because if you don't manage your fear, society mm -hmm. is gonna stop you from looking and acting like me. Or, or free for us, 34 to 39. Do not think that I have come to bring peace to the earth. I have not come to bring priests, but a sword. For I have come to set a man against his father, and a daughter against her mother, and a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. And in person's enemies will be those of his own household. Whoever loves father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. Whoever loves son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. And whoever does not take his cross and follow me is not worthy of me. Whoever finds his life will lose it. And whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. So right now, we're called the United States. Y'all yeah. know where I'm going. Come on, go there. United means we are together. Together. And yet, I dare say, that's just in word. Right, yeah. right, right. That's not in practice. Practice. And, and whereas I strive holistically, I'm lean, I lean more Republican from a moral perspective, and I lean more Democratic from a social perspective. But I don't allow either one of those to trump my commitment to Jesus Christ. That's good. Be, 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 because here it is, on both sides there is extremism. Right. Yes, sir. Right. And both will tell you the other is wrong yeah. if you're not with me. Right. And we, the church, mm -hmm. if we're not careful, mm -hmm. we will get caught up in the world and be against God. 
Man, man. Isn't that something? That's something. Because I don't think God is Republican or Democrat, and many minorities will 100% Democratic, no matter what they say. If it's if it's if it's sex, if it's if it's abortion, I don't. It's it's I support my man, mm -hmm. and I submit. We need to be a little careful about that. No doubt. But I also shouldn't be supporting someone who's crazy either. Right. right. And be a little careful about that too. Right. And as the church, we need to be trying to bridge the two together because the extreme right ain't coming together with the extreme left. Come on. And unless someone's in the middle trying to bridge the gap, then there is no united. Yes. Yes. And Satan destroys through division because the house divided. Stand. And we have always been divided, family. Right. Right. But you can see it even the more Man. in our nation. Extreme right. Mm. And extreme left, and both are saying they're right. Well, both can't be right. Mm -hmm. Not both. Right. Did, did I say they, they? No. You can't be extreme anti God, mm -hmm. hurting people, mm -hmm. threatening people, mm -hmm. and both sides do it. And we align ourselves with the side we think, well, you may be on the wrong side of right. Mm -hmm. I don't mean to hurt your feelings today, but I'm trying to be your pastor, I'm trying to be your teacher. And tell you, he said, I didn't come to make friends. Nah. Mm -hmm. It's in the text. Yeah, he said, yeah. he said, do not think that I've come to bring peace on the earth. He wants peace, but he said, me coming and setting God's standard is going to fight against man's standards. Yes, and man going to want what man wants to do. And God going to say, no, that's not right. Yes, and man going to say that I'm against you. I'm, I oppose you. Notice, mm -hmm. he says, I've not come to bring peace, but a sword. spiritual sword to divide. Between marrow, bone, and spirit, between soul and spirit. For I've come to set a man against his mother, a father, and a daughter against her mother, and a daughter also against her mother. That's Keith, is he saying he don't want my kids liking me? No, no, not at all. Because I, I want them to like me. <laughs> no, that's not what Oh, that's not what he said. Well, then what is he saying? Uh, he's saying basically, like you just said earlier, our allegiance is to God. That's right. Not to any, any, any political party, yeah. nor is it to man. Yeah. Our allegiance is, is definitely to God and God alone. And when that happens, then we're going to be against, mm -hmm. or they're going to be against us, could mm -hmm. be family, as you said earlier. So, so, so what are we going to do? What are we going to stand for? Wow. And that's, that's what he's telling us, in, even in verse 18, Pastor, is that, that if you and I, as Christians, set the moral standard, hmm. no one's going to like us politically. No one. Democrat Bec or Republican. They will not. <laughs> because Republicans are going to want you to do A, B, C, and D, and if you skip C, then they're going to problem with you. Right. And a Democrat's going to want you to do E, F, G, H, I. And if you skip G, they got a problem. They got a problem. Because both, both, listen, God didn't tell the, us to be radical, no. burning up, blowing up, Come on. all the stuff that we do in the name of what we want. Where do we get that from? Mm -hmm. The F, L, E, S, H. Come on. Just in case, Earl, tell them, tell them just in case those that. What, the, the, who may have missed what that what, what, what does that word spell? Flesh. <laughs> flesh. The flesh. Can, can, can I tell you? Can I tell you this? I'm writing a book on this on, on this now, uh, and I'm driving home in this book that I can't trust my flesh mm -hmm. always. Mm -hmm. So if I can't trust mine, can I really trust yours always? No. So, so, so have you trusted your flesh always? No. And in, in fact, I was, as I was uh, meditating on this, that word sword kept, kept resonating in my spirit because he could have chosen any other weapon. He could have. I, I'm going to be a hammer, you know, that, that, uh, that reinforces. I could have been an arrow that pierces, but he chose a sword. And um, simply the, the sword severs and it separates. But a lot of times, Pastor, we try to restore it ourselves. God says, you don't need that. Cut that off. But we try don't to get it anyway. sew it back to ourselves. Be like, <laughs> no, nah, I can't it. let that go. We, we he back. cuts off another part and he's like, and and no, it's difficult and it's hard because we think we need a lot of stuff, but God. And besetting sins are the ones that you know you shouldn't be playing with. Yes, sir. And has caused you harm mm -hmm. in the past, mm -hmm. but we'll go and mm -hmm. get it anyway. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. We'll always go back to get that thing. We'll, we'll, we'll always go back and get that thing. And, and in verses 34 through 37 brings us back to the fact, Pastor, that disciples ought not compromise. That, that, that's, 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 that's really good. If we're compromising, then we're not really walking as disciples. Well, our government demands that, and the, the, in regards of which party in, they demand allegiance. Mm -hmm. 100%. Absolutely. And I submit, I can't do that. Not, not as God's man. Mm -hmm. I, I, I can't endorse 
a president who goes rogue, mm -hmm. even if I voted for him. That's right. But I can't endorse a president who's legislating immorality mm -hmm. if I voted for him. Mm -hmm. And we, as a people in America, tend not to walk that line. We are aligned to the party, and whatever the party says, we're all in. I submit, I don't see that in the scriptures. Mm -hmm. I, I don't, because typically, if my dad is aligned with, 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 with the world, he's going to have a problem with me being aligned with God. Correct. He just is. Mm -hmm. And I need to have the courage to stand. You and you can see in the same household, Democrat and Republicans fighting. Yeah. Kids won't talk to mom and daddy. Mom and daddy won't talk. You voted for them, and you did this, and you, yeah. you, you. Oh, yeah. No, no, he's saying if, 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 if political parties can divide, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. then what about flesh and spirit? Wow. Sure. That, that's really going to be a divide between flesh and spirit. Because if Democrat and Republicans are divided, mm -hmm. and liberal and conservative are divided, then what about flesh mm -hmm. and spirit? And no spirit. Doubt. And spirit. Will be. Because if I think doing what I want is okay in the flesh, don't you tell me what to do with your spiritual self. And I submit, no, the government may not tell you what to do, but God is down the road because the Bible says everyone's going to stand. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And give an account. Even the presidents, even Congress, both Democrats and Republicans, even preachers and teachers and mothers and daddies and mom-in-laws and sisters are going to stand before God. And in that day, he going to legislate what the standard is not by me, but by the Lord Jesus Christ. That's right. And here's the reality. We're all going to die and stand and give an account. And I submit we need to be anchored in trying to figure out and submit to what he says as opposed to what President Biden or Trump or Bush or Obama or anybody else says. Yes. I don't mean to bust your bubble, but they're going to be standing too. Mm -hmm. Come on. Pastor, you said something earlier about you, you use the word spiritual self. Hmm. When did we as Christians became offended by being called spiritual. Wow. When the world became our attachment, uh, if I'm spending more time feeding my flesh than my spirit, mm. my flesh by nature mm. is going to run me and take control. Mm. And that's why Galatians 5 and 17 cautions us because it says the flesh wars Against the spirit. Yes, sir. And the spirit wars against mm -hmm. the flesh. And he says, King James says, contrary means that they're opposite. Mm -hmm. And I have an appetite in my flesh. That's mm -hmm. good. That's and good. I submit, Pastor Keith, mm -hmm. the rest of us have one too. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. So, so we should take it as a compliment to be spiritual. To be spiritual. <laughs> but you got to be yeah. aligned with God and have the yeah. courage. Yeah. If not, the pressure from the world would say, I don't want nobody to know. I'm a secret agent Christian. My God. I had a, um, an individual who I was strongly interested in in the past, and um, she didn't want to be called a Christian, but she believed in Christ. Well, many. Because the simple fact was, and she was the biggest Bible believer, and she could quote scriptures um, better than most of us, but the world attempts to pervert the things of Christ. Yeah. And if we really fall into that and don't hold true, like my favorite team is the Dallas Mavericks. You can talk anything, say anything you want, but I'm still going to wear my jersey. I'm still going to do what I fan. do. I'm a Mavs fan. But we don't feel that same way about the Lord. No. And the reason why, Pastor Keith, I feel that we don't want to be called spiritual is because the world is trying to pervert it. Yeah. And we don't want to be aligned with that. And we can see the pressure even in gospel artists. That's true. Uh, a crossover song. That's true. You know, they won't use Jesus or God That's true. in the word. They'll compromise. They'll compromise. And, and I get it. I get it. They want to sell and make more, you know, right. make more money. Right. Right. But what profits a man to make more money and, and he's not soul. aligned with God? Right. You're compromising. And I'm not saying they're not saved. I'm just saying he says do not be afraid. And we do become afraid that they won't buy my CD if I'm too Jesus. Yeah. 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 They won't, they won't, they won't, good. they won't invite me to the stadium yeah. so lot if I'm too Jesus. Good. So I have to kind of straddle a fence. Yeah. Uh, but, 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 but Revelation says hot or cold. But because you are lukewarm. lukewarm and there is great pressure today because lukewarm sells more than hot or cold. Yes, it does. Mm. So, 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 Pastor, is that That's what he's saying there in verse deep. 38? 
Read, read, read verse when, 38. When, when he says, and anyone who does not take up his cross wow. and follow me is Ooh. not worthy of me. Wow. Huh? Whoever finds his life loses it. Whoever saves his life, what? So is that what he's saying? When you don't want to deny yourself mm. of the tendency to make money over representing your Lord? Because, and, and, and here it is, here it is. Let's go back. Verse 24. A disciple is not above his teacher, nor That's a servant good. above his master. Yes. But, but notice this now. He, he, what he's saying is, I'm showing you I didn't get ahead of God mm -hmm. on the earth as the son, even though I'm God on That's the earth it. as the son. That's good. And I got power and authority, too. And I'm God. And yet, though, I submit myself to the father. Yeah. He said, he said, we're so aligned. If you've seen me, you've seen the father. He even went so far, had the unmitigated goal to say, I am the father or one or one. And yet, sometimes when you see me out in the world, Come on. depending on the pressure, according to the scriptures, you might not be able to tell yeah. if I'm his or I'm Satan's. You, you, you might not. Because what Satan believes, I endorse and believe too. Mm. Yet, verse 24 says we ought to be able. But, but, well, it there says, ought not be a dichotomy. Uh, uh, he said it is enough for the disciple to be like his teacher. What does like mean? Same as. Same as, well, whoever we're submitting ourselves to, that's who we're like. Yes, sir. And we can call ourselves a Chevy and not be a Chevy. Mm -hmm. I can call myself a dim and a day. Y'all know I'm a heat. I don't care what I call myself. It's who I am. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to be honest. Ooh, I'm going to get in trouble. Ooh, I'm going to get in real trouble. Come on, Pastor. Mm -hmm. I can call myself a woman, but I don't know what it's like to be one. Wow. You didn't hear what I said. I ain't never had a baby. I know it ain't, ain't good English. I can put on some lipstick, I can, whatever. But, but Miss Tina would tell you, no, you don't know what it's like. And you know what? I have to admit, I don't know what it's like to be a horse. Mm. I get out there and eat grass if I want and kick up my hooves. Wow, wow. That's but I have no idea what it's like to be a horse. That's good. I can call myself a, 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 a black stallion. Or what, 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 what's the most famous horse's name? Uh, uh, won the Kentucky Derby. Uh, a sea biscuit. Oh, sea biscuit. I can call myself whatever, and I'm not really a horse. Yeah. What is wrong with us today? When did I decide I'm gonna be equal with God and tell Him you don't? I'm, I don't mean the point. You don't know what you're doing, and you made a mistake, and I'm gonna fix your mistake. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Wow. Wow. No, when I tell you we want to be wow. equal, I'm not exaggerating. We want to be equal to God because you know we are smarter than Him. And, and we have to undo what he's doing. Mm. Mm. That, 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 that's who we, the mighty America, is becoming today. Oh, this is why I say America's in trouble. So I said, Pastor, what do you mean? Well, we are so aligning ourselves with the world to be equal with God. Mm. Well, where did that come from? Well, Satan himself. Study Isaiah 14, Ezekiel 28. He says, I will exalt my heavens above the most I will be like. No, we're to be like God in submission and, and like Jesus, not equal to him and doing what I want. Since he's a creator, guess what man wants to do? Create. Family, we are going about to establish our own righteousness. That's good. Do you know why? Because he don't know what he's doing in his righteousness. I got to correct it. So I have to establish my so, yes, I'm a them in a day because he called me a he. So I got to correct God. Family, when did we get to the point that, that we are endorsing what the world has given us because the world has given it to us? You know why? Because if we don't hang out in the word and we're spending time reading People magazine and everything else, then after a while we'll start saying, well, God really did make a mistake. I should have the right to take my parents' life if I want. I'm equal to God. I should have the right to do what I want because I'm equal. I should have the right to be who I want, go where I want. Why? Because I'm equal with God. Then who can tell me what I can't do? I, I won't get brownie points today, but I am telling the truth. Yeah, right, right, right. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm never going to uh, tell my kids, y'all are equal to me in everything. That's not true. I'm their parent. Yes, we can be friends. And as you get older, that, that there's a room for that. 
but I don't ever want to give up my whole role and not be who God called, which is their parent. Right. No, there's a reason we have parents. Mm. There are people right now whose parents been dead and they are 70 and 80 and still quote what their mom and dad put in them. Mm. And still say, my mom told me, my dad raised me. Wait a minute, but you grown. Yes, but my mom and dad still have value. Still have value. And yes, I know some things mom and daddy don't. And I got more education than mom and daddy. But there are some things I will never be because I'm not mom and dad. Mm -hmm. And the day we start thinking we're equal in everything, yeah. we've missed a point. I will never be the teacher Jesus was. Never and is. Never will I be equal. Listen. I said all the time, then preacher, man, go out there and, 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 and just call it the rain when you won't. Mm -hmm. Since you got all this smart and power and intelligence. Mm -hmm. I don't have that kind of power. But in him I do. No, fam, it's in him we live. It's in him we move. Mm -hmm. And it's in him we have our being. Mm -hmm. And the world is saying that's not true. It's not true. Pastor Keith Finney. Yeah, you, it's you, hot up in here, y'all. It's yeah. hot. Oh, it's getting hot up in I, I here. I feel like I need to be sitting out there. Yeah, it's hot up in right. here. Right, <laughs> right. But no, you are, you are, you are spot on in, 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 in what you're saying in terms of this whole equal thing, and, and God doesn't want us to be equal to Him. No we can't than, though. No more than a parent should be equal to the child. Oh. Because the believer, pastor, has some value for the world, and that in verses 40 through 42 says that. Yeah. Yeah. That does. when we are not acting like who we are as disciples. We're denying the world of a blessing. Yeah. Wow. That's it says deep. it right here in verses 40 to 42. Well, Earl, read for us verse 30 to point out what Pastor Keith said about value. Yeah. Read, read verse 30. 30. Yes, sir. Verse 30. But even the hairs of your head are all numbered. Keep reading. Fear not, therefore. You are of more value than many sparrows. Whoa. Wow. He said you are what? More value. More of, you are my highest creation. That's really good. Mm -hmm. Yes, the, spa, the sparrow is valued, mm -hmm. but not compared to you. you. He didn't make the sparrow in his image. Mm -hmm. And Pastor Keith, I said all the time, he knows how many follicles I have because you don't see the hair. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, he still knows the follicles. But he still knows the follicles. Yes, sir. This is why I ask him, who are you? And, and I'm trying to be equal with somebody. Friend, you don't even know how many hairs you have on your head. And how many of us are controlling our own heart right now? Because if we did, it would never stop. Think can we talk? I can't even control all my thoughts. Because some just come in my mind. Man, say that. Okay, can, can we? So do we really have control? So then why have we deceived ourselves by thinking that we do? We don't have the kind of control we think. But when Satan, Satan's job is to just pull us away from God. Why? So you will not be effective. So you will not be the best version of yourself God himself has called you to be. So that you will not be used by God to impact the kingdom, like Pastor Keith says. Yes. So you want, so God can't use you to glorify his name and bless you at the level that you desire. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, God wants you blessed greatly, but it comes through him and the world saying you don't need God. I said, that's a lie. John? One thing that I learned from you, Pastor, um, is there is a very healthy amount of separation. I will never get to know James the way that, uh, it, it, I may want to know James, but I will always know pastor. And I think that um, Jesus wants us to know that he has more instilled within you than you can ever offer. And if we don't, if we don't get that, then we miss it. And a friend of mine told me this, uh, a, a man came to his church and he's a younger guy and very wealthy, but he doesn't carry himself that way. And, 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 and the guy was saying, you know, we're, we're going to be friends. They called the pastors by his first name. And, 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 he, and he, he said, you know, and, and he mentioned his first name. And he kept saying, you know, John and Billy and Billy are going to be best friends. And the pastor said, he said, you can be friends with, that's not his name, Billy. He said, but Billy can't offer you what the pastor can. He said, if you're friends with the pastor, you get God's downloads. If you're friends with Billy, you just get Billy's downloads. That's right. He said, sometimes Billy ain't connected like he should be. He said, but if the pastor's connected, you get that. Right. 
And, and, and so, no, I will never be equal to my parents because there's some stuff they got. God didn't give me. They're like, there's some stuff he gave you. He didn't give me. Yes, he gave me some stuff, but he didn't give me everything because we all look through a glass darkly. We know in part and we prophesy in part. None of us know. That's, good. That's why we need one another. And we need to be in him. And the farther we are, the less downloads we're getting on how to go about carrying out his program. Mm -hmm. We're out of time, y'all. Any closing comments, Pastor Keith? Uh, just as, as, as Christians, I just want to encourage all of us to recognize the value that we have for the world. And when we're denying ourselves as not being disciples, true disciples, we're denying them of the reward that they can receive. Yeah. Any closing us. comments, John? I'm going to stop showing up. You're challenging me too much, Pastor. Sometimes that's what we do. Yeah. And that's why the Bible says there's always going to be a falling away. Mm -hmm. And when we fall away, it is because my flesh is saying, if I stay close to God, mm -hmm. I, you got to give up control. That's right. That's good. Oh, that's and, good. And, 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 and so, no, we will fall away from God so we can stay in control. And I can do what I want, when I want, and how long as I want. I can stay up all night as a 10 year old tell my mama, shut your mouth. I do what I want. Oh, my. Close up, Pastor Keith. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for the richness of your word. And we just pray, God, that as Christians, as disciples, Lord God, that we will not deny who we are, no matter where we are. And, Father God, we thank you for the privilege it is to be called your sons and your daughters. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you all. Wow. Wow. I'm going to stop showing up. We could have just been in the audience.